Now, the latest developments on a report of a state lawmaker sexually harassed at the State House. On Eyewitness News this morning, Attorney General Peter Kilmartin vowed to take action and said that uh, he'll be talking with that lawmaker who came forward, Representative Teresa Tanzi. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner working the latest now live in Providence. Patrick, good afternoon. Well, the many sexual harassment and sexual assault allegations against Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein spurring this so-called Me Too mo movement. Women and men sharing their stories, Representative Tansy among them. As you mentioned, new this noon time, the state's top lawyer says he wants to do something about this. He's done as powerful. In Rhode Island Attorney General Peter Kilmartin making clear how he views state lawmaker Teresa Tansy's bombshell allegations this week. First and foremost, Rep. Tansy, in my mind, is a victim. Tansy saying a high-ranking legislator told her sexual favors would allow her bills to go further. She has declined to identify that person. Now, Kilmartin tells Eyewitness News he's asking the state police to look into whether a crime was committed. I reached out to the colonel yesterday. She and I are on the same page. We have senior staff getting together uh, to begin the process of how to uh, conduct that inquiry. In this case, she happens to be a victim who's a representative who's alleging sexual harassment in the workplace. And that's the General Assembly. Needless to say, that uh, adds another layer of concern. House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello now wants Tansy, a Democrat representing Narragansett and South Kingstown, to chair a commission on workplace harassment and assault. Mattiello also pledging to have staff training at the start of the legislative session. Tansy says her story is not unique, and harassment did not just crop up when she reached the halls of power. I have been in the workforce for three decades and that it has started with my very first job and continued um, to this day. Kill Martin says Tansy is empowering the victims his office works with to prosecute offenders. I um, commend her for, for coming forward, for having the power to do that. Attorney General Kilmartin not giving any timeline on this investigation again other than to say that his office and the state police will be meeting. Live outside the State House this noontime, Jared Pliner, Eyewitness News.